Hello, welcome to 2020. Uh, Paleo Joe here. Uh, I'm going to do some videos this year on some of the field trips that I've gone on, uh, some of the places that I go to dig fossils, some place where you too can go and, and dig some of our ancient paleontological heritage. Some of these places are pay to dig sites. Some places are places you can't go. Uh, just to want to show you some of the things that are available there. Uh, some places you don't have to pay. They're open to the public and you can go there and dig and, and really enjoy yourselves. Um, I'm going to be talking about a place I, I was at many years ago. It's a closed site. It's a place where you can't go, but some of the stuff coming out of there is really spectacular. Uh, it's a quarry in Middleport, New York. It's a Silurian uh, quarry. Um, great stuff coming out of there. Some of the things I've got out of there are, are many trilobites, um, crinoids, uh, cystoids, all kinds of things. And I'm going to be talking about today a cystoid that uh, came out of that quarry. And some of you may have seen this before. Uh, this is the cystoid. It's a double, it's a natural double cystoid. And uh, what we see right here, um, this is the cystoid uh, stem. The root is down here. It's uh, tied onto a, uh, a bryozoan uh, up here at the top. Uh, there's the theca. We've got brachioles up here. Uh, there's a second one right here that when I first uh, had this, um, it wasn't there. I didn't see it. It was uh, buried inside the sediment. It was buried inside the rock in the matrix. Didn't see it at all. Um, I did not prep this. Um, I had a professional prep guy working on it. The, the guy that I got it from actually was a digger there, uh, and he dug it up and, and prepped it a little bit and gave it to me. I took it to another prep guy to do a little bit more uh, preparation to it using a micro sandblaster uh, mini air abrasive unit. And when he did that, he discovered a couple of things there that made me kind of think something else is going on. And uh, I was fortunate enough to uh, go to some place that had an x-ray machine where we could actually x-ray um, the rock. And uh, this is kind of what we found. Uh, as we were looking, uh, right down here, after he started prepping it, right down here, there was a little piece of uh, stem that became exposed. Well, as he was working up here uh, near the brachioles, he exposed some other brachioles here that did not belong to this other cystoid right there. So what we did is we went to get a, uh, an x-ray taken of it, and don't ask me where I got it. Uh, I can't tell you anything about that. Uh, but when we x-rayed it, you can see right here is a stem. And that stem travels all the way up here, and right there is a theca. There's the, the, the ball-shaped uh, structure right there. So, and then right across here, that's a, a crack that was in the rock. That's what actually showed us that there was something inside the rock. Uh, but you can see there that uh, the thing was buried inside the matrix. Uh, let me do it this way. It was buried inside the matrix. So the prep guy went back through and he prepped it out using an air abrasive unit. This theca is kind of crushed a little bit. I don't care. This is a double uh, double cystoid. Uh, the attachment point again down here is on a bryzoan. And then up here, uh, some of the brachioles are also disarticulated from the theca. Again, I don't care. Uh, this is a beautiful natural double of a cystoid from, um, from, the, uh, from the quarry. Now, cystoids are animals. They are not plants. Although they look like plants, some people call these things, along with the crinoids, lilies of the sea or sea lilies. These are animals. They are echinoderms. They are related to modern-day starfish. Uh, these are animals, creatures that lived on the bottom of the ocean. They had what's called a holdfast. A holdfast is kind of like a root system, but it's not a root. It's not a root. It's not a root. It's not a plant. We call it a holdfast. And they attach themselves to some sort of substrate on the bottom of the ocean, attach themselves to rocks, to bryzoans, something that they can attach themselves to and then grow uh, and live within that water column. So again, uh, this is from a quarry that unfortunately is not available to the public, uh, but this is a spectacular piece that I wanted to, to discuss with you and show you uh, what it's all about. Uh, in future shows, uh, again, I'm going to be doing field trips from around the country. I'll be giving you points and tips, where to go, what to find. I'll also be posting some other uh, videos like some of you have already seen uh, last year um, uh, on my videos. But the best way to see the videos is I don't always post these to all the groups I belong to. I belong to way too many groups. Groups. But what I do, what I, what I would do if I were you is, is subscribe to Paleo Joe, to my site, to Paleo Joe's Facebook site. There you're bound to see everything that I post if you are so inclined, if you are interested. Uh, otherwise, I do post on other groups from time to time. 
But if it doesn't really re re uh, relate to that group, sometimes I don't post to that group. Although a lot of people want to see these things, they want to see some of my videos, the best way to do it is please uh, friend me on Paleo Joe or uh, follow me in that way uh, and like it. And that way you will see these videos uh, when I post them. You'll see all the other pictures and f uh, photos and other things that I post uh, that are paleontologically related. So again... Welcome to 2020. Uh, it's going to be a great year. 2019 was a wonderful year. Got out, did a lot of digging. I'm going to do a lot more digging this year. I've already got some trips scheduled to Utah to dig trilobites, to dig dinosaurs. I'll go back to Green River Formation and dig some fossil fish. Uh, dig in Ohio, dig in Indiana. I've got another dig in New York. Uh, a lot of these field trips I'll be posting uh, here on this uh, uh, on, on Facebook. So y'all have a great time. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy 2020. Hopefully we'll have a really great year. Um, at least paleontologically speaking, I'm hoping that we will. Uh, right now there's a lot of snow on the ground, so I'm in, in the process of uh, working on some of these uh, Maison Creek nodules. There's a little calamites right here. Um, this is a, uh, a, a woody uh, stem uh, from uh, something that was alive back during the, the Carboniferous period. Uh, I've got all kinds of stuff here. I, here's a little fern right there, you know. But anyway, I'll be posting stuff like this from time to time. Y'all take care um, and have a great year 2020. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.